All right. Good evening, everyone. Um, it's uh, trying something different for uh, this this day's macro grid. This will be my my third run of it. Again, going for the uh, ultra low macro rarity score. As you can see, there's a game in progress right here. This is uh, Brewers and Cubs are playing right now. It's about ten o'clock on the uh, on the East Coast. So this way, there's a little bit more of a sample size. Also here at uh, where I'm actually going to be recording these things. Um, that was uh, first uh, couple of hostage video type things were, uh, at, you know, at a different place. This is uh, this is my actual office. Got a whole bunch of baseball caps and cards and all sorts of stuff in here. Um, so with all that being said, I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen here. Um, let's see. So we want this this one. Sharing here, going right to Macro Grid. Again, the idea here is that we want get the uh, lowest possible rarity score we can. All right, 300 average. That one's usually uh, you, you, you usually can get a whole whole bunch with that. Um, Cubs, uh, Cleveland Guardians. Then we've got the uh, Orioles. Who remember it used to be the St. Louis Browns. Um, the uh, New York Mets there and the Seattle Mariners. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's get into it. Guardians and Mets, right off the bat, I think the obvious one there is going to be um, is 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 going to be Francisco Lindor. Um, so, as always, I'm going to go to the 90s. I'm going to go with one of my all-time favorite ball players who I got to actually stand next to for the uh, National Anthem, one Jeremy Burnitz, who has definitely played for both teams. And, yeah, 0.2%. That's a, that's a nice Brewers gap. I've got that one back there. Love that late 90s Brewers look. Uh, all right. Speaking of the late 90s, Cubs and Mets got an all-star who had a weirdly good 1996 season with the uh, the Mets, and then the next year was traded to the Cubs. Lance Johnson, he had over 20 triples in 1996. So you can look that up for me. He definitely played for both teams. All right, we're, we're, we're two for two right now in terms of being uh, under 1%. Uh, let's see, Cubs and Orioles, Jake Arrieta played for both teams. Uh, so that's a that's a potential option. Um, I can reuse Rogers Hornsby because he did play for the St. Louis Browns, as, as we figured out, and also played one a few seasons with the Chicago Cubs. Um, another one that'll work. In fact, I've got his rookie card somewhere over there. Yeah, right there is Raphael Palmero. Got his start with the Cubs, and obviously came back to the uh, Orioles a few times. Sammy Sosa would work for this one too, but. I'm going to go with, with Palmero. See how many people remember they actually got to start with Cubs. About oh, 4%. All right. All right. Let's see here. Some 300 averages. Let's see if we can figure out some. some actually, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Lance Johnson's. Teammate on the 1996, say the highlight of some sort, 1996 Mets. Um, I remember if it was Jolly Olive, who was baseball, one of those channels, they did a whole uh, episode video about Lance Johnson, Bernard Gilkey, and how they were. That's that's what I'm putting in, by the way. More 90s, 0.1%. Yeah, he, he, hit, uh, he had a really good 1996 season, never really repeated. Uh, that kind of magic again. Oh, let's see here. Guardians and and Orioles. We could definitely go with definitely go with uh, Roberto Alomar again. I used that one on, on the first day. Um, that might be uh, might be that might be too obvious, but. I might come. I might come back to that. I'll, I'll see if I can uh, come up with a come up with a more creative one. Let's see. Should I go with Ichiro for three hundred batting average? No, that'd probably be too obvious. Also got Edgar Martinez drive, but also that would be 
pretty obvious. Uh, Avrod would work. I think I've got a more obscure one. Let me just keep doing it. Let's just let's just call it what it is. I'm a I'm a man of the nineties. Joey Cora, zero point two percent. You guys see looking into my soul in that picture. Huh? No, no, that's a that's an interesting picture. I think he hit like exactly three hundred. I think it was in the ninety seven season. It just it stuck with me because he um had a three hundred batting average. That was just that's like the uh, benchmark in those days for good or not good. Or not, you know, good and less good. Um, all right. Let's see some Baltimore Orioles with three hundred averages. Again, we got all sorts. You go all the way back. We go back to George Sisler, like I did on on the first day. Um, we could. Uh, uh, I think we could. Well, we might not actually be able to go with Orange Brown. We ever had a full season with Browns. Um, here's an interesting one. At 1964, I believe, AL MVP and the best defensive third baseman of all time. Not known as great hitter, but he did have this one really good season there with Brooks Robinson and a whole bunch of gold gloves over at third base. Okay, 3% of people got that. That's actually quite a bit higher than I would have expected. I would have expected a lot of like Ripken, Tejada, draw a little fire, maybe Nick Marquez in there. Um, all right. So now we're uh now we're getting down there. I've been uh been kind of ignoring the Mariners. Let's see if I can think of another player from the 90s. Uh I might have played for both teams because that, that's really my my bread and butter. You know what? Cora played for both teams, but probably the yeah. <laughs> yeah, he came he came over to uh Cleveland the uh very next season. I don't know how many people are going to remember that Omar Vizquel died to start in Seattle? Oh, one in ten people remember that. Okay, so that's not a that was not especially unique. All right. Um, I think Roberto Almar is going to be a little bit more obvious than Albert Bell. Let's find out. Nope. Well, maybe no. So both of these two, I think, uh, uh, we're we're kind of duds. And if this uh, the point of this video was just watch me sit here, then maybe it'd be uh, I, I might have been able to come with some better. But alas, let's see what I went with. Um, and then yeah, Mariners, Mariners, and uh, Cubbies here. I'm gonna once again see how many people remember that Jamie Moyer got his start with the Cubs in yeah 1986 and he was still pitching at almost 50 years old. A quarter of people got that. Okay, so this was not that impressive of, of performance. I, I got them all, but uh, I started off strong. I had under 0.5 percent on uh, on the first couple. Um, but uh, yeah, those last three there were a lot more obvious than uh, than I was hoping for. I really should have done Joey Cora. I remembered Joey Cora went from the Mariners to the then Cleveland Indians during the nineteen ninety eight season. Um, that was right before they acquired Alomar. Um, so let's see. We're gonna see today's stats. Jim Tomey was the most popular. I'm surprised so many people remember they played like a half season or so in Baltimore. Jamie Moore was the most, so I, I went exactly the opposite direction. Cubs and Mariners. Um, Milton Bradley played. Milton Bradley might have been a good pick there. I'm trying to remember if he played for Mariners. Though. Now, now I'm second guessing that, even that. Um, all right, half the people going with each row for 300 average. I was kidding. Um, that was, was going to be way obvious. How many people are playing this thing? Almost 180,000 people. Good job to Immaculate Grid. Like they've set something up that a lot of people uh, love to play. I certainly love to play it. I've, I've gotten hooked. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I uh, definitely appreciate if, uh, if anyone's watching, definitely appreciate you swing along. I'll try to improve the quality of these videos now that I'm uh, back home here. So thanks for tuning in and uh, best luck with you. If you're, uh, if you're watching, I'll post your uh, rarity score in the, uh, in the comments, please uh, feel free to do so. And uh uh, you know, please have a uh, have a wonderful day, uh, and uh, take care.